Good morning, peeps. Today is actually Sunday and we're working today. And the reason why that is is because we got a bigger job and this job is located in a bunch of business offices. So the problem is, is when you start drilling shots and making noise, you have to wait till about 6 p.m during the week because the businesses are actually working. So today's a great opportunity to go in and drill shots all day if you have to because it's the weekend and I'm taking you guys with me. Alrighty, peeps, we are at the job site right now. I wanna show you what exactly we are doing. Um, if you look above us right here, we have hot and cold, and then we have our vent coming across, which is eventually gonna connect into this guy up here. This is also a vent that'll have to connect in. We ran it all the way across the ceiling. We had to drill shots during the week uh, after 6 p.m. like I was telling you before. You have your cold connection coming down for your toilet right here. And then you have your toilet flange right here in that corner. Have the same thing over here. You have a toilet connection right back there running up and connecting into cold right up there. The vent continues across. I just wanna show you right here. We do have a venting system here. I actually posted this picture on Instagram. If you guys already don't have me on Instagram and you wanna see some uh, plumbing stuff, go to Kenny Molotov on Instagram. So this is our venting system for the fixtures that are underneath the floor. Vents right here connect above flood level rim and they continue up and they connect back into the vent running up across the ceiling. And the third one is the same sort of thing, but on this side, I gotta show you, we have a vanity connection, back to back, one going this way, one coming that way. We have pipes coming down, hot and cold coming down, and then running across for hot and cold right here. The vent runs up above flood level rim, comes back into the venting system, which goes all the way up. You have another cold water connection coming down for your toilet. That took place last week, which was uh, quite a mission to do. So the last things that we have to do here is we have a few fixtures that we need to come in. First of all, we're gonna have two hot water tanks come in here by the end of this project. So that's why I ran three quarter hot and cold coming up and they're going to connect all the way up there. We have to continue our vent across. It's going to be coming down right around here. I put supports here for my uh, three pipes. I'm gonna have hot, cold, and the vent. So we're gonna have to bring it across. Then we're gonna have one more connection over here, which is a, another vanity connection. Dad's here with a bunch of pipe, which is always a good thing. And then we also have to run the vent across the ceiling all the way to this section right here. You see I put a couple of pipes up there so that we can have a connection for a vanity in here. And we have one more connection right in here that we gotta run up vertically and tie in to this section right here. So there's a ton of work, but we're hoping to bring it into inspection starting this week, starting tomorrow, uh, which is Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully that's what we're gonna be able to do. But we gotta drill some shots, so it's gonna be a very thorough job. Um, of a really big rough-in that we've never done on the channel before. So, let's get going. Let's see where uh, this takes us.
All right, let me update you. Uh, when the lights turned off, the electricians actually went out and they were working, so that it was dark here for about a half an hour to 45 minutes. But here's what we got. We got hot and cold over here, running across a vent. Connects here at a 90, and then goes upwards all the way up. We're gonna be connecting up in the ceiling at the end. I have to start from the left side and then work my way to the right side, because that's the way the fixtures work, and it just makes you not use up more pipe than you need. Alrighty, peeps, walking back to the truck. Uh, I just decided to go for lunch. Uh, tell you a couple of interesting things about it once we get in the car. Alrighty peeps, here in the truck, a couple of interesting things about this job. My wife and I used to actually come to this spot right here and we used to actually eat in the place that we're actually working at right now. It's currently changing from a dessert place into a coffee shop right now. It was a little bit surreal when uh, I was asked to come in because I was like, right, I know this layout completely. The only difference now is, is that it's uh, pretty much a completely different layout from what it was before. There's gonna be way more sinks and drains involved. Another interesting thing about it is my dad and Jamie did the underground of this place. They had it inspected, then everything was cemented over. And me on my own, I'm doing everything above ground, which I'm having such a fun time doing. I gotta be honest, I, I certainly prefer doing new construction over doing service. And I think that's because you get to see an entire project come to fruition and finally all the theory that was in school being uh, force fed into you is coming out into this stuff right now it's just a lot of fun putting everything together it's uh, it's a different type of challenge than uh, service definitely is so that's why I wanted to show you guys this sort of work so you can get a feel as to what new construction actually feels like the thing about plumbing is is in order to make it neat you got to continuously put up wood and mount things to it and you also got to make sure everything is level with these sorts of jobs right here it you really have to be a little bit well rounded in order to make things look proper in there you got to know what kind of wood you need to use you got to know what kind of screws you need to use you need to have the tools to cut wood to also cut pipe to then mount wood and then mount pipe it's sort of like all my four years of knowledge are coming together into this one little project right here and that's how new construction usually feels like if you aren't experienced i find new construction is really difficult because just mounting wood will take you a long time and just cutting wood will take you a long time because you're not used to the material because as plumbers we don't typically uh work with wood we typically work with just pipe, solder, etc. if you know what I'm saying. So there's a lot going into this job site and it's a lot of fun, but I have to be very meticulous because this is gonna go into an inspection stage very soon. So I have to make sure that everything is sized correctly according to the drawings, first of all. And I also have to make sure that things are mounted to wood because <clears throat> supporting pipe is equally as important as soldering it correctly and all the, those other elements. If you don't support pipe, the inspector will actually uh, not pass the inspection because it's a hazard to A, the pipe, and also a hazard to the workers that are gonna be in working in that area. So it's really, really crucial that you're meticulous and you get everything done correctly up to code. And if you don't, it's not the end of the world. The inspector will come in, they'll usually take a look and they'll say, okay, everything looks good except for this area right here. Fix this for me, send me a picture, and then I'll pass the inspection for you. So a lot of times you meet a lot of really reasonable inspectors. And honestly, Honestly, even if the inspection goes bad, it's a huge learning experience because you're learning straight from a city representative whether your job is up to standard or not. And it's nothing to be upset about. It's just something to, you know, take note of and work towards getting better and then anticipating it at the next job. <laughs> Thank you.
457, it's five o'clock p.m. in the evening. So there's still a ton more work to do. I probably have a full day's worth of work, but fortunately enough, we should, fingers crossed, have inspection on Tuesday if the inspector can actually make it in at that time. So, so far it's looking good. You know, coming back from Iceland, uh, I was thrust right into this project right away. I knew my dad and Jamie were working on the underground. Now it's me doing it out here. So sort of like no warm up period. And that's how I find uh, a lot of vacations to be. There's no warm up period. You got, you got to go straight back into work and you got to start performing. The other thing is, is that I've been here for about three days. So I started Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today's Sunday. And I wasn't able to actually bring in my cameras because the problem is, is that the camera actually takes a lot of time away from me because I got to set up shots and set up angles to make sure that you're getting the content that I'm trying to get to you. Uh, it sort of slows me down and it sort of disrupts my uh, chi, if you know what I'm saying. Disrupts my problem solving abilities. It keeps me, sort of distracts me a few times of the day. That way I have to sort of plant my feet again and decide which way I'm going about it. So I'm glad I got to get this camera in today, but that's why I wasn't able to do it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I really needed to get as far ahead as possible for bringing in the camera and allowing you guys to see what's going on. That's just one added element to being a vlogger on YouTube when you're doing plumbing as well. So that's something interesting to note. But overall, I'm really excited. Like I was telling you guys before in the truck, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to see the theory manifest itself in real life now and actually create a plumbing and venting system and also run hot and cold and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I don't have much of a Sunday left. Like I said, it was five, it's 5 p.m. So I'm hoping to see if I can hang out with a buddy of mine later on. I think I might be seeing Daryl. Uh, we might go to a movie, but for sure we're just gonna grab some food. I don't even think I'm gonna change out of my plumbing clothes. I'm just gonna go there and see him. Uh, just like this because I don't have much time and then go to bed wake up the following day The other thing about this job is that it's it's been so demanding. I've been coming home after 11 hour days There's just that much work involved in it It's good because I'm enjoying myself and and I'm sort of choosing to be here for 11 hours But the difficulty is is these this past week. I've had no time to video edit I've also had no time to work on my song I've also had no time to work out and and that's something Something I miss. I find that uh, when I start lifting weights and doing cardio, I feel better and actually perform better on the job site. So I'm hoping that once inspection passes, we have to wait for guys to get everything up to standard and then the fixtures have to come in. I hope by that time I'll be ready to go <laughs> and I finally have a lot of content out for you guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or whatever you guys are thinking and I'll see you guys very soon. Kenny Molotov guys. Peace baby. We're gonna go watch Thor Ragnarok. Boom shakala!